Hey what is going on guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you one of the most overpowered and sweaty strike forces which I've used on FIFA 16 actually. Um, as you can see it's about 38k this strike force on Xbox One and about 41k on PS4 so pretty similar prices on both consoles. As you can see in centre attacking mid I use Marquisio. A lot of people like to use this guy in like centre mid but I've personally he tends to get forward a lot for me uh, when I use him in centre mid so I decided to put him in cam and um, I in per so I decided to put him in cam and he's actually done really well for me there you know it gives him more freedom going forward um, so he can use that 82 passing a bit more as long as, as well as that um, 74 shooting and that 81 pace and 83 dribbling because he's very good on the ball as well um, just supplying those two strikers in front of him basically as you can see on the left hand side of my strike force I have got Sal, a uh, really, really sweaty player. You know, he's pretty hard to get into teams because of his league that he's in. But um, if you if you put him into this team, he'll do very well for you. As you can see, he's got that 94 pace, so this guy's absolutely rapid. As well as that 83 dribbling, so he's very good on the ball as well. Um, as well as that 74 shooting and 72 passing. So this guy will sort of skip in and out of challenges. Obviously, he's pretty small and quite weak. So, um... Some people prefer to use players that are a bit stronger than this, but I find that he does draw a lot of penalties and fouls um, because of his strength, which is kind of useful in a way, to be honest. Um, but obviously his main feature is that pace and dribbling, so he's very quick on the ball, and he'll get in behind that defence a lot with that high attacking work rate. As for the striker alongside him, I'm using Farias. Again, really similar player to Sal. This guy is so overpowered, though. You know, with that 92 pace, 85 dribbling, he's so fast on the ball, this guy as well as 72 shooting and 75 passing. So this guy is amazing, um, he's got that high low work rate so he's really good at getting in behind the defence. Um, if you've got players behind him with high, with, with like good passing stats basically, this guy is going to get in behind the defence loads and you're going to score so many one on ones with him, he's just going to be an absolute beast at the top. He's going to get you so many goals and um, in my opinion he's actually probably one of the most overpowered team of the season strikers which I've used on FIFA 16 actually. Um, for a silver, this guy is absolutely amazing. Amazing, definitely like the best silver that I've used, um, and he works very well, very nicely with Sal as well. In terms of player instructions, I'd put both the strikers on getting behind, to be honest, just so that you can be through on goals. So you'll be through on goals so much if you use those player instructions. Um, with Marquisio just behind him, with that really good passing, as you can see with that 82 passing, um, he'll get all the three balls and the, all the assists basically, and um, you're just going to score so many goals with this strike force. As for the centre midfielders, um, in the middle I'd use someone like Pereira or Pogba if you have the coins. Um, on the left hand side of centre midfield I'd use someone like Pirolo, very overpowered centre midfielder, really good all round stats. Um, and then on the right hand side I'd use someone like Hernanez or Allen, any of them work very nicely. And um, you've got, basically got yourself a nice solid uh, Serie A centre midfielders basically. And um, very good players. Then obviously for the defence, you could use any Serie A defenders. It doesn't really matter too much. There's a lot of very overpowered defenders in the Serie A. Um, you could use someone like Abate at right back, uh, Chiellini, Bazagli, centre backs, and maybe someone like Alexandro left back, and then maybe Buffon in goal. And you've got yourself basically a very solid uh, team. You'll get loads of goals going forward, and then if you get a solid defence, um, you'll concede very few as well. And overall, this this strike force just works so well. You know, they'll get you loads of goals even in higher divisions like Division 1 just because of how fast these players are um, how well they work together and um, you know it's, it's there's not going to be many people that will be able to contain this strike force with their with how quick they are um, and yeah it'll work very nicely if you use these three players so yeah that's today's video guys remember to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here and I will see you in the next video